Welcome to In Search of Anthony Burgess. Today we're going to have a look at a review excreted, Burgess's word, in 1968 of his collection of reviews, Urgent Copy. The review was described by Burgess as unjust and impertinent. And he explains in his autobiography that he was still smarting from it years later. The offending review, it's a very short one, goes like this. Here are a few extracts. On collecting one's reviews. Mr. Anthony Burgess has collected his reviews. Of this I do not complain altogether, things being what they are. Yet dog proceeding to eat dog, I shall ask, how does one review reviews? These fair samples bring about a third of the way through. I've quoted them less because they are silly, but some of them are surely a trifle bizarre, than because their words do exhibit a quality, unlike the blue in Cezanne, which no one will find other than coarse and unattractive, I should think, or I should hope. I find a desire to please in rather an ignoble or sneaking way. I suspect this reviewer's anxiety to convince himself that an insatiable liking for words amounts to ability to use them well and to distinct purpose. Only some literary anxiousness coupled with energy could explain writing and writing on with a badness at once so surprisingly defiant and so exceedingly obvious or could explain the way Mr Burgess throws about in such a mode references to the obscurities of his own scholarship or the way he will drop suddenly into the argot of the academic. I like the reviews I read, if this is not being too idiosyncratic for our day, less shaggy and loud, and less in the public bath.